Manufacturing therapeutic products involves several complex production processes, especially in terms of recombinant agents. The most expensive part of producing biopharmaceuticals is the last step, called fill and finish. This biotech seminar on demand will concentrate on strategies of formulating a drug considering its biological properties and stability. Here a case study will show how different pharmaceutical companies realized stable formulations of the same agent using totally different stabilizers and adjuvants to come towards a robust biotech product. Production of recombinant proteins for therapeutic application involves several complex production steps belonging to upstream processing and downstream processing. Here qualified and validated processes must be available to ensure robust manufacturing with highest quality standards. Completely new developed biopharmaceutical agents exhibit unknown physical chemical properties that have to be determined for identifying correct formulation strategies. Most frequently manufacturers already use water for infusion purposes to solve the pharmaceutical agent into an environment that can be directly injected or infused into the patient. But as most researchers know, dissolving a protein in pure water can be problematic. For increasing solubility and stability in water for infusion purposes, addition of glycerol, propylene glycol and other alcohols as solubilizer or stabilizer may be necessary. To achieve physiological conditions, solutions are treated with isotonization agents. Next to salts, often sugars are used, most frequently glucose and mannitol. It is recommended to use 5% glucose or physiologic saline to achieve isotonization for solutions for infusion purposes. After manufacturing, a drug has to be shipped to the place of its application. Thus, storage conditions have to be optimized to get optimal durability values. Some proteins in solution are not stable at room temperature or at 4 degrees. This leads to the need for freezing, which brings new dangers of destroying the tertiary structure by development of ice crystals. Here sugars serve as cryoprotectors preventing the formation of these crystals. To remove heavy metal traces from solutions, sequestrants such as EDTA or EGTA are applied in low dosages. This has the pleasant side effect that also protein stability in solution may be improved. Newest industrial used compounds are compatible solutes like actoene and hydroactoene which have been isolated from extremophile bacteria. Optimal situation for biopharmaceutical preparations occurs if there is no need for adding preservative substances. In case of the introduced agents for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, which are lyophilized after filling, there is a reconstitution with water for infusion purposes unpreserved. Then the solution has to be injected within a period of time of 6 hours. When reconstituted aseptically, the time range is 24 hours. The physician has to consider that the injection solution has reached room temperature shortly before injection. The United States Pharmacopeia allows the addition of 0.9% benzyl alcohol for preserving pharmaceutical preparations. Also, phenol and cresol are common use preservatives that are added in very low dosages. Considering all these formulation parameters, final preparations are varying enormously, depending on solubility and stability properties of the agent. 
Protein agents suffer from less oral bioavailability in presence of deteriorating environment such as the gastric acid. Thus oral application remains to low molecular drugs and small peptidic agents like cyclosporins. Transdermal application is complicated because skin barrier physiologically prevents the uptake of high molecular agents into the bloodstream. Hexal developed ionophoretic patches that penetrate the skin via needle bed structures. Application of electric fields leads then to migration of active agents under the skin.